fasting which is on wednesdays thursdays and fridays the details of the fasting are shared on our different whatsapp groups amen and for those who want to partake in the blessings of the lord through tithe and offerings the banking details are shared on our different whatsapp groups on our messenger groups as well as on our different facebook platforms amen, amen. tonight we will get the word of god from the book of isaiah chapter 54 from verse 10 niv it reads as follows though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken nor my covenant of peace be removed says the lord who has compassion on you in righteousness you will be established tyranny will be far from you you will be nothing you will have nothing to fear terror will be far removed it will not come near you if anyone does attack you it will not be my doing whoever attacks you will surrender to you see it is i who created the blacksmith who fence the coals into flame and forges a weapon for its work and it is i who have created the destroyer to wreak havoc no weapon forged against you will prevail and you will refuse every tongue that accuses you this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and this is their vindication from me declares the lord amen amen amen, amen. hallelujah amen amen also tonight you will have a privilege to go through the word of god together believing the word of god to be taught with power let us go through the word of god from the book of isaiah the book of isaiah chapter 54 from verse number number 10 the bible say that though the mountains may be shake be shaken and the hills be moved yet my unfailing love for you will never be shaken nor my covenant of peace be removed says the lord who has compassion on you the Bible says that, first of all, though the mountain may be shaken and the, the hills be removed, but my unfailing love for you will never be shaken. You know, the Bible is trying to say to us, there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. Amen. Amen how God loves you. God loves you so much. And the way that God loves you so much, He has made up His mind to love you in such a way that nothing can separate you from, from, from His love. Nothing can change God's mind from loving you. Amen. In such a way that the Bible says that the mountain may be moved, hills may be removed, yet his love, there is nothing that can change God from loving you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse number 35, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? shall trouble hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sweat and the bible say that as it is in writ as it is written for your sake we face death all day long we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered and no, in all these things we are more than the conquerors through him who loved us. Then the Bible is just saying here, there is nothing that can change God's mind. God's mind Amen. is made up in loving you. Amen. 
He loves you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And as a child of God, it's very, very much important that God, God have said that He will, there is nothing that is going to be able to change God's mind in loving you and having compassion on the earth. Amen. The Bible says that also in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse number 14. In righteousness you will be established. Tarant, tyranny will be far from you. You will have nothing to fear. Terror will be removed far it will not come near you. The Bible says that, you know, you will be established in righteousness. Remember, this was a prophecy. This is a prophecy that has been said long time ago, which today, that word of this word of God, when God is speaking to us, is saying that, we have been established. The proper way to say it, we have been established in righteousness. Because remember, you have, we have become righteous when we accepted Jesus Christ. Amen. We have been qualified when we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. And this precious blood, the precious blood of Jesus Christ washed away all of our sins. That moment, we have been qualified we have been justified to become righteous. Then it doesn't say in righteousness you will be established. The Bible then says that we have been established in righteousness already because you are in Christ. As you are in Christ, you are righteous before God. And as we are in Christ and we are righteous before God, in righteousness we are established. That righteousness Amen. of Christ establishes us. And the Bible says that tyranny will be far from you. Trouble will be far from you. Amen. Because of the righteousness of Christ, trouble will be far from you. That's what the God is, God is saying. Trouble will Amen. be far from us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can you say trouble will be far from you from me? Trouble will be far from me. Trouble will be far from me. In the name of Jesus. In the name, In the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Yes. Say trouble is far from me. Trouble is far from me. Trouble is far from me. In the name of Jesus. In the name, In the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Let us pass through the book of Ephesians chapter 6. Verse number 10. The Bible says that finally be strong in the Lord and is in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take stand against the devil's schemes. And the Bible says that for our, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and authorities and the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, that when the day of evil comes, you will be able to stand your ground and after everything to stand. And the Bible said that, stand firm then with the belt of the truth around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that come from the bell, from the gospel of peace in addition to all this take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the ev evil one and the bible say that you know take the helmet of salvation 
and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God hallelujah amen amen then you know when the Bible is saying that first of all in righteousness you will be established now the Bible gives us another strategy that we can we have to put on the full armor of God putting on the full armor of God hallelujah amen amen and the Bible says that you know one of the things that is going to help you you know to be established the Bible says that is the is the shield of faith remember what we were talking about a few days ago talking about faith is the result of the Word of God that word of God it Amen. gives you faith and the Bible say that with that faith you will be through that shield of faith you will be able to extinguish all the arrows that the the flaming arrows of the evil one by what by faith hallelujah Amen. Amen. and in verse number 14 the Bible says that and you will stand firm then with the belt of truth belt of the word of God standing in the word of God and ending up being a truthful person the Bible says it will be like a belt of truth in being part of the armor and the Bible says that around your waist and the breast place of, of righteousness in place the Bible says that righteousness actually in the armor of God, it becomes like the breastplate. I want to just talk a bit about the breastplate because that's what the Bible says. In righteousness, you will be established with the breastplate uh, of righteousness in place. Then, the breastplate, you know, in the armor of a soldier of old. That breastplate used to cover in the chest. You know, the soldier will be having, yes, a shield there, which he uses to, to block. He uses to block when they are sending the spears of old. But now, there was a breastplate. A breastplate, he will wear it. It was made out of steel to make sure that if anything can pass from the shield, when it comes to the chest, it will hit on the chest and fall down. Because on, what is very, very much important with chest is because your life is on your chest. All the important organs of your body are on your chest. Like your heart, like your lungs. You know, all those important organs are in your chest. That you don't want any arrow to hit the chest. That's why you need to have what? You need to have the breastplate. It's the same thing when they make a bulletproof. A bulletproof is like a breastplate. It's just that a breastplate was meant to, to block... An arrow, it was meant to block a sword. Then now, a bulletproof, it's also meant to stop a, a bullet. It says that it is meant for another kind of weapon. Then the breastplate of righteousness, the bulletproof of righteousness, which makes it impossible for the enemy to destroy you Amen. which makes it an Amen. impossible for the enemy to kill you Amen. because of what Amen. because of the breastplate Amen. then that's why it's very very much important to be in Christ to be in Christ so that you can have a breastplate you can, you can have a bulletproof which will block away all the bullets all oh, the attacks of the enemy hallelujah amen amen and god says that all the troubles will be far from you amen 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can you say fire? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. You know what? When the Bible says that all the trouble will be far from you, it's a similar thing what God is talking about in the book of Psalm 91. When the Bible says that whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God whom I trust. And the Bible says that surely he will save you from the fallers man and from the deadly pers persistent and he will cover you with his feathers and under his wing you will find refuge hey his faithfulness will be your shield and repart and the bible says you will not be afraid of the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day not the persistence that stalks in the darkness. Not the plague that destroys it at midday. Listen to this one, verse number 7. A thousand may fall in your on your side. Ten thousand at your right hand. But it will not come near you, the Bible says. Amen. Saying the similar thing that trouble will be far from you hallelujah amen amen as you dwell in the shelter of the most high you will rest in the shadow of the almighty you will be untouchable amen. hallelujah amen amen then that's why the bible is saying that god is saying that Hey, no trouble will be far from you. He will make sure that when you are in him, living in him, he will make sure that trouble is uh, away from us. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that you will have nothing to fear. Amen. When you are in him, living in him, the Bible says you will have nothing to fear. Amen. Because Amen. when it goes on, terror will be far from you. It will come near. It will come not near us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, as a child of God, you know, it is very, very much important to live in Him, to make sure that we live in Him. We dwell in the shelter of the Most High. Hallelujah. Amen. We find a refuge. Hey, in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. that the Lord now, in the, in the, then what the Bible is saying here, when you are living in Him, in the shelter of the Most High, in the shadow of the Most High, the Most High becomes your shelter. Amen. Then that means this in this realm. In this realm, it is more powerful eh, than than a shield. It is more powerful than a, a breastplate. It is more powerful. Than a, than a bulletproof because this is where the Lord becomes your shelter. Amen. Amen. The Lord becomes your shelter and when he becomes your shelter, he makes sure that nothing comes near you. Amen. Nothing bad comes near you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That before anything comes near you, it must pass through the Lord. Amen. Before anything comes near us, we'll, we'll have to pass through the Lord, and which is very, very much impossible. How can anything pass through the Lord? Amen. It is impossible. Mm -hmm. And because He loves you, He will block everything, everything which is coming against you. That's what the Bible is saying that. 
Hey, you will have nothing to fear because you will be your shield and your battle. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, I remember. I remember what the Bible talks about in the book of Job chapter 1. When the Bible talks about when the devil present himself before the Lord with other angel and the Bible says that when God asked Satan to say that have you considered my servant Job there is no one like him then the Bible said that the devil says you know does Job love you for nothing first of all you are the one who blessed everything that he touched you have blessed everything. Amen. And the Bible said that. The devil said that. You have built a hedge around him. You have made him untouchable. You have made him unaccessible. You have made it so hard to go near to Job. Amen. That means Amen. Job was living in the Lord. Job have begun to, to develop a character and a lifestyle to live in him. That makes him to be so unacceptable because the Lord has become his shelter. Amen. That when you look for Job, Amen. you have to pass through the Lord. And indeed, because God has said that, hey, to Job, I love you so much. To you, he loves you so much. Then Amen. he will never sell you out. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what Amen. I'm saying. I'm saying to somebody tonight, the Lord will never sell you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will never sell you out. Amen. You will be, you Amen. are unaccessible to the devil. Amen. You are unaccessible Amen. to the enemy. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said that in verse number 15 of Isaiah chapter 54. If anyone does attack you, it will not be my doing. Amen. Hey, and whoever attacks you will surrender to you. Amen. The Bible say that, you know, because the Lord will be, he is with us. The Lord is with us. The Lord is with you. Then the Lord is with you and he loves us so much. He loves you so much. Then the Bible says that. Then, you know, as the Bible says that in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse number 28, that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who have been called according to his purpose. Amen. That means the Lord Amen. is the one who makes sure that everything works together for your good. If anything is coming against you, it is not the Lord's doing. Amen. Because Amen. the Lord now, because he's not just the Lord, he is your Lord. He is our Lord and he's our Savior. He's the one who's joined together with you. Amen. He's the one who loves you so much. He's the one who makes sure that everything turn around for your good. And if there's anything that is against you, the Lord said that it is not my doing. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Then that means when you see the witch coming against you, the Lord saying that no, it is not, I'm not with the witch. I'm not with the witch. The witch is coming with the devil is by himself. The witch is as if he's coming against God. When you see the sickness coming against you, the, 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 the Lord is saying that, no, that sickness is not coming from him. You know, sometimes some people, they go like when they see something bad, they think maybe this is the will of God. God is saying that in anything which is bad, which is coming against you, God is not in it. God is the one who turns around everything for your good. He's the one that who loves you so much. Who does know? Who says that you are the apple of my eye? Amen. Anything Amen. that comes against you, it is as if it's coming against him. Amen. 
then he is not he is not uh, with anything that and anyone who plans to attack you child of god know it god is not against you amen it's not against you that's what the bible say that in the book of john chapter 10 verse number 10 the thief comes only to steal to kill and to destroy and the bible said that jesus said that i have come that they may have life and have it to the full then jesus christ wants you not to be confused Jesus Christ wants Amen. these things to be clear to you so that for you, you, you must understand this. Amen. Jesus Christ wants you to understand Amen. this. Amen. That if there is anything that comes against you Amen. to steal, to kill, and to destroy, it is not his doing. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. sometimes some people see so it's a certain bad things happening around, around sometimes somebody dies you find somebody saying that no they say that no uh, the Lord giveth and the Lord take it's some most of those things it is not God Amen. It is the Amen. devil's doing is the devil who steal who kills and who destroy Amen. that's why what we see also in the book of Job when 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 the bad things were happening to to job the lord makes it clear that it was not the the doing of the lord it was the devil who was trying to do what to steal to kill and to destroy it was not god amen then that's why i'm saying it's making it clear to you that you may not be confused that every bad thing come from the devil every good thing come from the lord amen Amen. And the Bible says, because of that, hey, whoever attacks you, the Lord said that will surrender to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's what God is saying that I am by your side. I am your shelter. Oh, Barabasanta, God is by your side. God is your shelter. Then anyone who comes against you, oh, he is not with God, he is with the devil. And the Bible says, and the Bible says that in the book of First John chapter 4, verse number 4, when the Bible says that greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. Greater is he that's within you. Then don't fear anything that comes against you. Amen. Because God is by your side. Amen. Whoever is tr- who will ever who will ever try to come against you. The Bible said that God have already said that I'm not with them. Don't worry, I'm with you. They will surrender to you. Amen. 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 I don't know what the devil have planned, what the devil is planning, what the devil will try, whether in the whole 2023, 2024, 2025, 2030. The Bible said that if anything try and whoever try to come against you, the Lord said that I am not with them. And the Lord is saying to you, child of God, hey, who Ever will try to challenge you, whatsoever will try to attack you, the Bible says it will make sure that they surrender to you in Jesus' name. Amen. As a child of God, fear nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. God is by your side. Amen. If God be on your side, who can be against us? Amen. Nothing can be against you. Hallelujah. Amen. In all these things, you will be more than the conqueror. Amen. In all Amen. things, you will be what? You will be more than successful because the greater than the greatest is where is by your side. Hallelujah. Amen. He have made you and is making you undefeatable. Amen. 
Amen. Can you say, I am undefeatable? I am undefeatable. I am undestructible. I am undestructible. I am undestroyable. I am undestroyable. I am undestroyable. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The Bible says that in the book of Isaiah 54, verse number 16. See, it is I who have created the, the blacksmith, who fence calls, calls into flame, and who forges a weapon fit for its work. It is I who have created the destroyer to wreck the harvest. Then God is saying that it is him who created the the all those people who forms the weapon then god is trying to say to you i know he's, he's, he's trying to say i know what i'm, I'm talking about because he have created he's the one who have created what the forger of the weapons amen amen he's saying that behind the scene god is the owner of all the weapons then don't worry about any attack are you hearing what i'm saying amen and the Bible say that in the last portion, and it is I who have created the destroyer. He is the one who have created Satan. The greatest destroyer of all is the devil. The devil's name, one of the devil's name is called the destroyer. God says, it is he is the one who have created Satan. Then Satan Amen. is not stronger than God. Satan does not have more strategies than God. He is less powerful than God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Then that's why he's telling you that whoever will ever attack you, whether by weapon, whether by the demon or the devil, the Bible, they will surrender to you. Amen. Because he is the Alpha and Omega. He is the creator of heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said in verse number 17 of Isaiah 54, No weapon forged against you will prosper, will prevail. Amen. No weapon. Amen. No weapon, Amen. no bomb. No gun, no knife, no tokolosh, no Amen. snake, no witch. Amen. No weapon fashed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then, child of God, you can be rest assured doing the work of God, praying, worshiping Him, glorifying Him, because God is the one who is your greatest defender. You are great protector. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can Amen. rest assured in him, in his presence, in his glory, and not to worry who is planning what way. Amen. When they tell you that somebody is Amen. planning against you, somebody is bewitching you, you can laugh. Amen. The Bible says that the one who sits in the throne, he, he laughs. You can laugh at your enemies. Amen. You can laugh at the plans of your enemies because by your side there is a greater than the greatest. By your side there is a mightier than the mightiest. By your side you are heavily protected. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that you will refute every tongue that accuses you. You will cancel everything that everybody has said against you. Amen. God is giving you that authority that you will, hey, you will refute every tongue that accuses you. Amen. And the Bible says that Amen. this is the heritage of the servant of God. You who is the servant of God, this Amen. heritage. And the Bible says, this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Amen. Oh, Pradagashati Kafahaki. Oh, begin to pray wherever you are. Mantaka Bayi Kabohai. Arakata Bayan to Rabayan to Labayan to Raba. Arabaye. Akata Labayan to Labayan de Leba. Arakayan to Brai Katobaha. 
Akatubayan tolobo siadara bayan tolobo arakayan to brahakida mandala bazonda laba arakian do frazando lobo siada e kradia e kradia zonda libayan tolobo mandara bayan dorobo Manta kabayan do lobo si andaraba Manta kabason taraba Manta kabason taraba si ando lobo Manta kabazan turubo si andalaba yan turubo Akatuba yan taraba si aturaba yabe Yerebason turubo si andaraba yede Akatuba zanta la bashia dalaba, arakatuba zanto la bashia do. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Fire, 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 Fire. Fire. I command them to the abbey. I command them to the abbey. I command them to the abbey. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. In my body. In my body. In my career. In my career. In every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Catch fire now. 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 I command them. I command them. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything. Everything. Turn around. Turn around. For my good. For my good. For my good. So let there be miracle jobs. Let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Let there be miracle progress. Let there be miracle progress. 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 Say I command. I command. Everything. Everything. Turn around. Turn around. For my good. For my good. Say all is well. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. This is just a reminder that tomorrow we have got our weekly prayer and fasting, believing for God to give us the grace to dominate, the grace to take over, the grace for many to give their life to Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Amen. And also, 
again on Saturday. We are starting our 10 days prayer and fasting for the month of May, which the theme is Pool of Bethesda. Yes, um, I will also tomorrow have time to pray for those who have partnered for this time. I want to say to you tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye. Amen. Bye. Bye.